What we did in the previous exercise was to edit a jQuery mobile theme in Fireworks CS6. And you saw how easy it was to change the color of the icons and and the uh, various uh, gradients and things in the themes. This time what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a custom theme and apply it to a jQuery mobile page in Dreamweaver. So let's get started. And the first step in the process, of course, is just go to the Commands menu, jQuery mobile theme, create new theme. And what it will do is it'll open up the uh, jQuery mobile template. And there are all the icons and there are all the themes in the Pages panel. Now, if you open up the Pages panel, what we're going to do is create our own theme. So I'm going to select the E theme and duplicate it by dragging it on top of the new page icon here and just naming the page R. Remember, when you're working with jQuery Mobile, the you don't use names or numbers. You must use a letter. So I'm going to get rid of a couple of the themes that we don't need. I'm going to get rid of uh, the D to A themes. Don't need them. And so now that they're gone, we've got the assets, the uh, E theme here, and the R theme. And what we're going to do is customize the R theme. So I'm going to come up to 100% here. And the first step in the process, of course, is to actually change the look of the uh, gradient for the header and the footer. And we're going to use uh, Toots Plus color. So we'll uh, change this to a light gray color the top of the gradient, the light color, and we'll use that 04010 color for the background. And of course, we've got a stroke there that's uh, kind of out of place, so we'll change it to the dark green color as well. <coughs> and the header and the footer have a drop shadow, which we don't need, so we'll get rid of that. And I think what I'll do is I'll change the color of the header and footer text to that grayish color we've been using throughout. And now what we're going to do is apply this gradient to the content area and the buttons. And if you're in a, a state of mind where you just want to do it yourself, knock yourself out, I'll pick you. You can wait for me because there's a great little feature in Fireworks. It's been there for a while, but uh, not a lot of people know about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the gradient for the bar and you're going to copy it to the clipboard and then all you need to do is hold down the shift key and select these four gradients here and you go to edit paste attributes and what this will do is just paste the color attributes of the selection on the clipboard and there we go we've got our gradients done so now we've got to change this gradient here of course because it has, uh, it's going to be holding the text. So we'll just uh, come to the gradient and let's knock the opacity of the darkness back to say about, let's make it 30%. And that gives it a nice background for the text to show up on. The uh, text here, we're just going to get rid of the uh, drop shadow. Don't need it. It looks terrible against that background. Select the drop shadow, delete it. There we go. We've got it all done there. And then we're going to come up to the global assets and styles. And we've got a button here. And we're going to need to change it. So edit, paste attributes, and there we go. Does this have a drop shadow? Yes, it does. Let's get rid of it. And our style sheet is ready to go, or our theme is ready to go. And to export a theme out of Fireworks into Dreamweaver commands, jQuery mobile theme, export theme. It's going to ask me where do I want to put it. I'm going to put it in a folder named theme. And what do I want to name it? I want to name it R. Okay, I'm just going to use the same name for the CSS as I've got for the theme. Click OK. And a command script will run, and when it finishes, it's done. Okay, let's pop over to Dreamweaver and apply our theme. So what I've got here is a uh, PhoneGap template that I've opened up in uh, Dreamweaver. And the important thing I need you to pay attention to is right here, this data theme E. This is what's been applied to this template. So if I go live, you can see it's the E theme. And if you remember from Fireworks, the E theme is yellow. So I just wanted to be sure that that was there. And now what we're going to do is apply the theme from Fireworks. First step in the process is to actually open up that CSS file that was created. So there's the RCSS file. Double click it, that opens it. 
And I'm just going to close the uh, files panel here, and you can see there's all the CSS that drives the theme from Fireworks. And we can just come down to the end here, select all, Command A, and we're going to just copy all the CSS to the clipboard. And then we're going to come back to the uh, index.html file, and we'll go back to split view, and I'm going to turn off live code. And what we're going to do now to apply that theme is you open up the jQuery mobile theme 10 min dot CSS. It's just minimize CSS, open it up. There's the CSS. Select all, Command A, and then just paste in the fireworks CSS that we've got sitting on the clipboard. It's all in there, and we can save the file. And we'll come back to the source code, and we'll just go to live, and there's that E theme that has been applied earlier. So how do we apply the R theme? Well, you just select data theme equals E, just pick one of them. Now, if you're going to be applying themes to these things, let's be really clear on a couple of things. One, it's got to be applied to the page, it's got to be applied to the uh, header, and you see it's applied to the footer. If not, you're going to wind up with inconsistencies. Okay, so we've got data theme E, and we're going to let the software do the work on this one. So we're going to go to uh, Find and Replace, and there it is, data theme E. So I'm just going to copy that. In the Replace area, I'm going to paste it in, and I'm just going to change that letter E to an R. And this will go through the entire document, finding the data theme equals E and replacing it with data theme equals R, replace all. And I just refresh the page. And there's our theme. So there you go. There's how you can use Fireworks to create a custom theme in jQuery Mobile. It's not that hard to do. All you have to do is create a custom page, create your theme, and then when you've got the theme created, commands jQuery Mobile Theme Export Theme, it exports it out as a CSS file, and you apply the CSS file in Dreamweaver.